So open your books on page 65. We need to continue watching the video and talking about Alison's life. Remember last class that we watched a video about Alison and the places that she visited in the city. I will play the video again because we have some questions to answer. My name is Allison. I live in a neighborhood called Inwood. I love living in Inwood because it's beautiful. There are so many parks and everything's open late. I work at a cafe in the neighborhood, but I'm also a writer. Today is Saturday. I love Saturdays because I don't have to work until later. I have a lot of things to do before I go to work. I have to go to the pharmacy. I have to go to the ATM, the grocery store, and I'd like to get an ice cream cone. The supermarket is right down the street. It's very convenient. There's also a drugstore right down the street. I love my bakery. They have the best muffins. Good morning. My hardware store is right around the corner. They have the most helpful clerk, but I don't need to go there today. There's a lot of great pizza places here, but my place is the best. I've lived in the neighborhood for one year. I moved here in August. I used to live downtown, but it was too crowded. I'm a lot happier here. The people in the neighborhood are really friendly. Everybody says hello as I walk by, and I know everybody's name. Another great thing about Saturdays is the farmer's market. This neighborhood has the best fruit and vegetables. Everything is fresh. Today, I need to buy some peppers and strawberries. How much are these strawberries? Five dollars. Okay. Would you like a bag? Yes, please. These strawberries are the most delicious I've had in a long time. Work is very convenient. It's right down the street. I had a friend when I moved into the neighborhood, and working at the cafe helped me make a few more. It's easy to meet people when you work in a local cafe. Everyone who comes in the cafe is so nice. Thank you. I really like my job. My boss, Alex, is great. When I first moved here, I really liked the neighborhood, and it gets better every day. If you ever come for a visit, be sure to say hello. Aniel and Guilherme Freitas, turn on the camera, please. So, now we need to read the statements and make it true or false. What details do you need? Then watch the video again. Are the statements true or false? Correct the false statement. Before we start answering the questions, para facilitar, toda vez que nós formos ouvir um listening ou assistir um vídeo, se nós tivermos em mente o que é necessário escutar, Fica muito mais fácil. Detalhes que nos ajudam a entender um listening ou um vídeo. Saber quem, who, what, o que, o que a pessoa está fazendo, o que está acontecendo. When, quando, where, onde e how many, quantas vezes. Então no vídeo mostrou a vida de quem agora? Who was the video about? Alison. Alison. What does she do? Mostrou, tipo, ela na cidade, as coisas que ela faz, a feira, essas coisas. Ok. When? What period? Que período? Quando que ela faz esse tipo de coisa? Quando? 
Quando? In Saturdays, I don't understand this part. Okay. She does during the week and on weekends too. So she showed us her routine. Então ela nos mostrou a rotina dela, então as coisas que ela faz durante a semana e também no final de semana, né? Where? What place? Qual lugar ela mostrou? Não precisa ser o nome exato do lugar. Mas o que ela nos mostrou? A feira? Hum, não exatamente. Neighborhood? Oh, oi? Ah. Neighborhood? Neighborhood, yes. Ela mostrou o bairro onde ela mora. And how many? Several, time, several times. E quantas vezes? Várias vezes, né? Ela passou por vários lugares. You need to watch again? Precisa assistir de novo para corrigir as frases? Yes. Yes? So now, então prestem atenção. O que, quando, onde, quantas vezes... E principalmente nos lugares em que ela trabalha, que ela frequenta, quantas vezes ela vai ou ela passa por esses lugares para poder então responder os exercícios. My name is Allison. I live in a neighborhood called Inwood. I love living in Inwood because it's beautiful. There are so many parks and everything's open late. I work in a cafe in the neighborhood, but I'm also a writer. Today is Saturday. I love Saturdays because I don't have to work until later. I have a lot of things to do before I go to work. I have to go to the pharmacy. I have to go to the ATM, the grocery store, and I'd like to get an ice cream cone. The supermarket is right down the street. It's very convenient. There's also a drugstore right down the street. I love my bakery. They have the best muffins. Good morning. My hardware store is right around the corner. They have the most helpful clerk, but I don't need to go there today. There's a lot of great pizza places here, but my place is the best. I've lived in the neighborhood for one year. I moved here in August. I used to live downtown, but it was too crowded. I'm a lot happier here. The people in the neighborhood are really friendly. Everybody says hello as I walk by, and I know everybody's name. Another great thing about Saturdays is the farmer's market. This neighborhood has the best fruit and vegetables. Everything is fresh. Today, I need to buy some peppers and strawberries. How much are these strawberries? Five dollars. Okay. Oh, can I get that? Yes, please. These strawberries are the most delicious I've had in a long time. Work is very convenient. It's right down the street. I had a friend when I moved into the neighborhood, and working at the cafe helped me make a few more. It's easy to meet people when you work in a local cafe. Everyone who comes in the cafe is so nice. Thank you. I really like my job. My boss, Alex, is great. When I first moved here, I really liked the neighborhood, and it gets better every day. If you ever come for a visit, be sure to say hello. Now, Alison works at a grocery store. No. Oh, where does she work? Where does she work? At a cafe? Yes. She works. Pode só arriscar o grocery store aqui do finalzinho, ó. 
escreveu café aqui na frente. Number two, today is Saturday. True or false? True. True. Alison works on Saturdays. False. True. The muffin costs a dollar fifteen. False. False. It's dollar fifty. Five. Alison moved to this neighborhood in August. True. True. And number six. Alison pays a dollar fifty for five dollars and fifty for the strawberries. False. False. How much did she pay? Era só cinco reais. Cinco dólares. So what do you like about Alison's neighborhood, Camila? It's... It's friendly, tem bastante coisa no, na vizinhança. Ela não precisa ir para o centro da cidade para poder... Yes. Good. Vitor? Vitor? Oi. What do you like about Alison's neighborhood? Ela tem bastantes amigos na vizinhança, tem donos de lojas, pizzarias e a, que são vizinhas e essas coisas. Ok. Bruno? Ela hum, mora numa vizinhança bem movimentada, num lugar que não é tipo interior, é centro de cidade e é bem movimentado também. É tem, tem bastante. Country, na verdade ela não está no centro da cidade, ela está num bairro, mas o bairro onde ela mora tem bastante coisa. Ah, achei que era centro. Não, não, ela saiu do centro da cidade para morar no bairro. É que eu li lá no negócio lá. É, aí eu não entendo muito bem, né? Aí eu achei que era centro. Ok, não houve, não problema. Ela quis sair do, do centro da cidade, do movimento, para poder morar numa vizinhança mais calma. Eu entendi. Guilherme Delgado. Yes, teacher. Uh, I think uh, uh, his neighborhood is calm, safe, and have so much choice to do and to buy. Very good. Canieri? I like the friendly neighbors, and there are a lot of markets there. Yes, she can buy almost everything she needs. And Guilherme de Freitas? Um, the, the neighbors is very, are very friendly uh, and have many stars. Good. 
So grammar have to and don't have to. We use have to to talk about rules or when something necessary. Então, toda vez que nós vemos um have to na frase, vai falar sobre regras ou coisas que são necessárias serem feitas. Né? Coisas, geralmente, quando nós não temos muita opção, aí é utilizado o have to. I have to go to the ATM. Então, eu tenho que ir ao banco 24 horas, né? o caixa eletrônico. He has to work tonight. Ele tem que trabalhar à noite. We don't use have to when there is a choice or when something isn't necessary. Então, have to é uma regra, é algo necessário quando não temos escolha. Nós não vamos usar o have to quando nós temos a opção de fazer essa coisa ou fazer outra. I don't have to work until later. And she doesn't have to study tonight. We use do or does with have to to form questions. Então, nós usamos aqui, ó, o don't, o doesn't, na terceira pessoa. Podemos usar também na hora de fazer pergunta, o do e does. Lembrando que o do e o does são auxiliares utilizados para fazer perguntas e eles não têm tradução. Então, do you have to study tonight? Yes, I do. Or does she have to work tonight? No, she doesn't. Então, lembrando que toda vez que for usar o have to, é algo necessário, são regras, você não tem escolha. Tá? Se você tiver escolha, aí não precisa usar o have to. Exercise 8, complete the sentence. Use the correct form of have to or don't have to. Então, de acordo com as frases, vamos ver o que se encaixa melhor. O have to or don't have to. Exercise 8, number 1. Isabel work today. She's going to the beach. Doesn't have to? Doesn't have to. Have to work today. She's going to the beach. Number 2. Sorry, I can't go out for pizza tonight. I? Have to? Have to study. You give me a ride home. I can take the bus. Have to? Mm, you don't have to. Okay, ó. Você não precisa, porque ela vai pegar o ônibus. Ó. I can take the bus. For a he needs money, he go to the ATM. He have to? He has to. Go to the ATM. Easy. O pro é has mesmo? Oi? É, no 4 é has, não é have, não? Não, é porque é a terceira pessoa. He, she, it. Lembra, hum. nós usamos o has? Ó, pode ver aqui em cima. Aqui, ó. Terceira hum. pessoa. Complete the conversations, use the correct form or have to or don't have to. Então, no exercise 9 é a mesma coisa, porém nós temos que completar desde o início. Como fica a pergunta? Does she have to? Does she have? E aqui, ó, ficou have porque nós já estamos usando o auxiliar does, já indica que é a terceira pessoa, o verbo volta a como era antes. Does she have to go to the grocery store after work? Yes, she... She does. Mm. Number two. They get up early tomorrow. O que está faltando no início? Do. Do. They. 
after they Vou usar o have ou has? Have. Do they have to get up early tomorrow? No, they? Don't? Don't. Number three, he go to the doctor. Uh, does he have it? No, does he have to go to the doctor? No, he vou usar o mesmo auxiliar que eu usei para fazer a pergunta, porém na negativa. Doesn't. Doesn't. Or we learn this grammar. Do we have? Learn this grammar. Yes, we. Yes, we. No. So now you are going to make questions and ask your friends. Então vocês vão formar as frases agora. E perguntar para os amigos. É para usar essas palavrinhas que estão aqui dentro do quadradinho. Então, a pergunta começa. Do you have to study, to work, go to the grocery, go to another class today and then this weekend? Então, começando pela Camila. Ela vai perguntar para o Vitor. Escolhe uma das é, palavras aqui. Completa a frase e pergunte para o Vitor. Vamos tentar não repetir as palavras para ficar mais fácil. Sou Camila, please. Do you have to clean your home today? Eu, quando que é de vez em quando, tipo, eu ajudo minha mãe? Sometimes. Sometimes. Why sometimes? Sometimes. Oi, peraí, cortou. Vitor, can you listen to me? This is I sometimes help my mom. Oi, bro, pode falar agora. É que tava fazendo barulho. Ok, I sometimes, eu às vezes, help my mom. Ajudo minha mãe. Okay. I sometimes help my mom. Tá. Vitor, ask Bruno agora. Você pergunta para o Bruno. Do you have to study today? No. Why not? Só quando, tem, só quando tem prova. Como que é mesmo? Pro? Only when I have a test. Only when I have a test. Bruno, ask is Guilherme Delgado. Do you have uh, go to a ITM uh, today? No, I don't go to ATM. I go to ATM at the last month. Okay. Um, Guilherme Delgado asks Ranieri. 
Do I have to go to another class today? Yes, I do. Daniel, yes, Guilherme de Freitas. Uh, do you have to go to the grocery store this weekend? Mm, no, I don't. And Guilherme asks Camila. Uh, do you have study for the test? No, I don't. Ok. Any questions so far? Alguma dúvida até agora? Não. Acho que não. Oi? Acho que não. Are you sure, Bruno? So, we finished for today. Nós terminamos. Eu começo o outro tópico da Unit 6 next class, after our vacation. Então, a unidade 6.2 nós começamos depois das férias, ok? So, have a wonderful vacation. Thanks for coming. Please stay home and be safe. Cuidem-se, se possível, fiquem em casa. Aproveitem para descansar. Qualquer dúvida, qualquer coisa, estou por aqui. Podem perguntar. Ok? Thanks for coming, guys. Have a wonderful vacation. Bye, bye. For you too, teacher. Bye, bye. Bye. Vitor and Bruno, enjoy your trip.